Good morning, YouTube friends. Um, I come on here to do a really quick video about this book. I can't give a review on it as I've just started reading it. I'm in the introduction, as you can see. Um, <clears throat> but I'll like, uh, read the back part of the book for you, and I'll tell you a little bit about the chapters inside. And um, It's up to you to decide whether or not you want to get this book. I bought it through Thrift Books, as you can see. Um, I believe I only paid $4 for it. Um, not quite sure, but I could look it up and I could put it um, down in the comments section for you guys once I um, find out how much I spent on it. Um, but Thrift Books is where I get a lot of my books. Uh, thanks to the Gray Oak. He's the one that sent me there. Um, and it introduced me to a whole new world of uh, affordable books. Um, anyways, this book is called uh, Celtic Myth and Magic. Harnessing the Power of the Gods and Goddesses. It is by Edane McCoy. And I got this book because... Um, and... One of my uh, first videos I did, I mentioned that I I don't work with a particular um, god or goddess um, because I'm new to the past still. Uh, <clears throat> so I thought I would like kind of look up, uh, see if I could read a little bit more, you know, about the gods and goddesses. I do feel a really um, straw pulling to Odin. Um, why I don't know. Um, but I, I know that I would like to work with a goddess and, you know, do some goddess magic and, you know, all that good stuff. But anyway, so the back says, anything you can envision the gods can help you achieve. Forge working partnerships with the Celtic goddesses, gods, heroes, and heroines to draw and direct their energy toward achieving your magical goals and rituals. Harness their power through creative ritual path working exercises that channels divine energies into your spell workings and rituals to increase their effectiveness, meaning, and power. Celtic myth and magic describes the energies of over 300 cross-reference Celtic deities and hero, hero figure, bleh, sorry, figures you can quickly determine which best aid you to attain specific goals through magic, such as greater prosperity, serunos, glowing health, ermid, or a soul partner, An Angus, Macog. Anything you can envision, the gods can help you achieve. Undertake three magical quests to the inner plane, where you'll merge in spirit with Queen Maeve, Merlin the Magician, and Kyoklane, and activate their arc, 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 it, <laughs> arc it pal energies into your daily life. These quests open channels for divination and past life recall and permanently expand your physical, mental, and spiritual potential. This inspiring guide, written especially for solitary pagans, presents guidelines for creating rituals, spells, and in accordance with the beliefs of Celtic paganism and offers suggestions for setting a Celtic ambience for your workings that are certain to maximize their power. Celtic myth and magic gives you a practical method for intimately linking yourself with the potent, potent forces which created you and live within you to aid your spiritual quest and to allow the sacred light of the divine to shine brightly upon all your magical endeavors. Okay, so that was the back. <clears throat> and you got dedication... Part one is understanding the Celts and their pantheon. pantheon. Uh, Celtic traditions, creating a Celtic setting, attuning to the Celtic pantheon. Practical uh, Part two, practical ritual and Celtic pantheon. Rituals of vocation, rituals of invocation. 
the Celtic Pantheon and the Esbats, the Celtic Pantheon and the Wheel of the Year, the Celtic Pantheon and Pagan Life Cycle Events, Part 3, The Power of Pathworking, uh, Pathworking, Journeys of Power, uh, Number 9, Beginning and Ending of Pathworking, 10, Pathworking 1, I'm going to butcher the hell out of this name, Cuke Lane, The Warrior, Pathworking 2, Queen Maeve, The Warrior. Pathworking 3, A Lesson from Merlin. Part 4, Gods and Goddesses, Heroes and Heroines. Introductory to the Dictionary section. Dictionary of Celtic Goddesses and Heroines. Dictionary of Celtic Gods and Heroes. Uh, part 5, there's your references and resources, and it goes Appendix A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Plus, it has a glossary for pagan terms and comic, common Celtic words, a bibliography, and recommended reading, and an index. And that is that. But I thought I would show you a little bit more about the book. Um... Like I said, I can't do a review on it because I haven't read it yet. But once I do get finished reading, I will do a review on it. Um, right now, I'm trying to get one book done, and that's The Holistic Tarot. I'm a little over halfway done. Um, and then I'll do a review on it. So far, it's been amazing. Been a bell when uh, outdid herself with this um, book basically it's a reference book I think um, would make a great reference book for tarot um, because it's not you know how to it's just basically she's breaking like every little aspect of tarot down so you, you have a greater understanding of the suits and um, whatnot but again I can't do a review on this book because I haven't read it yet. I'm I'm just into a couple pages into the introduction. But um, since I had so many people ask, I had um, a couple of YouTubers ask about this book. And then I had somebody uh, Facebook me in a private message asking me a little more about this book. So um, that's what I did this video for so you guys could know a little more about it. But... Um, I got this book so I could figure out which, um, which goddess I'd like to work with. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I have, I feel a pull towards Odin, but, you know, who's to say that, you know, something else might pop up here. But, um, thank you all for watching my video, and blessed be, and I hope this helped. Bye-bye.